A couple of years ago, a number of meteorites struck a land in Australia. Although it didn't cause much damage at first, eventually people began becoming ill and killing one another. It appears that the meteorites carried a very contagious virus that turns people into zombies, but it is much more harmful because it spreads through the air. Blood group, a negative humans can only contract the virus from a zombie bite, not from breathing the air. In spite of this, no human is immune from infection. In the movie, we are introduced to Brooke, a girl who recently became a zombie. As she tries to attack her own people, her brother Barry intervenes, feeding her some human blood. Brooke returns to normal because she is not fully transformed as she became a hybrid zombie. She is able to control her zombie cravings for most of the time, but when they become uncontrollable, she drinks human blood from bottles. Being a hybrid gives her unique powers, such as the ability to mentally manipulate zombies that have fully transformed. Because Barry has an A-negative blood group and has not been bitten yet, he is one of the few people still alive today. In the other area of the wasteland, Rees, a former soldier, lives in a bunker powered by zombie blood and has made the most of his situation. They release a highly combustible gas from their breath. This element is also found in their blood, which functions as fuel. Reese works out every day and eats an odd yellow tablet to start the day. He then embarks on a zombie hunt, which doesn't take long because the creatures are constantly encircling the fort. He uses meat to lure them and operates the generators by moving their hands and legs. To keep up his physical prowess, he regularly trains fighting with the zombies he has trapped. Reese discovers a zombie hybrid riding a motorcycle close to the fort one day. He knocks him unconscious and kidnaps him. He then takes this guy to a government-run laboratory, which was established as a last option to cure the virus. The scientist, known as the spider, conducts a number of tests on the hybrids in the hopes of one day discovering the remedy. To protect it from the adversaries, the lab is manned by numerous soldiers. Since he too wants things to return to normal, Reese regularly takes hybrids to the laboratory to assist the scientist. He then receives the yellow pills in return that provides him temporary immunity from the virus. The only reason Reese isn't infected yet is because of the medicines. He is tasked to find the two hybrid sisters. He puts a lot of effort into locating them since he believes that by catching these hybrids, he is changing the world. The next scene shows Maxie and Grace, the hybrid sisters. While traveling to a hidden location, Grace loses control as her zombie nature takes over her body. Maxie gives her some blood at the perfect moment. Flea searches for the sisters in a field nearby, hiding. He attacks them and flips their car. Despite not being as hurt as her sister, Grace fights Reese outside the automobile. After a fierce battle, Reese ultimately prevails against Grace because he is a skilled soldier. He drives off with her without bothering to double-check the vehicle for the second sister. After some time, Maxie emerges and begins searching for Grace, just to discover that she had been abducted. Grace abruptly awakens as a zombie while Reese is taking her to the lab. As a result, she gains strength and intensifies her strikes. She succeeds in trapping Reese, but he persuades her to drink blood, which restores her back to normal. The spider uses a hybrid zombie in the lab to create a remedy that momentarily halts the transformation process. He gives himself the injection, but the colonel and a soldier catch him in the act. When the soldier aim his weapon at him for wasting government resources, the colonel shoots his own soldier. The colonel and the spider were actually previously bitten by zombies. In order to create a medication that delays the rate of transition and prolongs their lives, they have been taking the hybrid's blood. The hybrids they abduct are being used for their own benefit. They won't become zombies as long as they continue to capture more hybrids and take the antidote daily. After some time, Reese gets to the lab and gives the Colonel Grace before leaving for home. He has to use a zombie's blood to restart his automobile after it breaks down on the road. Maxie has been hiding and watching him the entire time. She hops on backside of the car and follows. After arriving home, Reese enters the bunker and uses strong light to divert the zombies. During the night, the lights abruptly go off. When Reese carefully steps outside and turns on the generator again, he sees Maxie. She knocks him out before he has a chance to react. The following morning when he awakens, she threatens him to reveal her sister's location. He agrees to take her to the lab since there is no other option. When Maxie spots a photo of herself and Grace on the way there, she questions him about what he'd do for a living. Reese informs her incoherently that he was told to take them to the laboratory. 
He grabs the weapon when her attention is diverted from the conversation. Maxie is ultimately restrained to her spot and brought to the colonel, where she is forcibly removed by the soldiers. Colonel makes fun of Reese's late brother, who was also a soldier in the past, and they have a small argument. Reese fires the commander and his men after the argument swiftly degenerates into a brawl. When he flees, he brings Maxie along, a wounded colonel and the troops who use their guns to subdue him. Reese awakens to see that he is dangling from a tree. The colonel makes fun of him and tells him about the man who burned his brother alive. It was Barry, the character we saw at the start of the film. Reese is then abandoned to be eaten by the zombies. He makes every effort to support himself on the tree, but he is just seconds away from being bitten by a zombie. They all abruptly stop moving. Looking ahead, a bewildered Reese sees Brooke and her group. It turns out that Brooke and Maxie are friends. Since Reese had previously saved Maxie's life, she brought them to save him. They kidnap him and demand that he tell them where Grace is. Reese knows that Barry is the one who killed his brother, but he stays silent. The man is attacked by Brooke and the zombies, and his only choice is to comply. He shares with them all of his knowledge regarding the spider and the colonel. Not knowing that nothing of the sort is taking place in the laboratory, he believes they have been doing a fantastic job in their search for a cure. A few hours later, decomposing zombie bodies are discovered when the group barges into the lab. The group finds that the yellow pills are made from the innards of the zombies. Barry discovers the hybrid's corpse in the tank that Reese had brought to the laboratory. According to a lab employee, the experiment involves killing all of the hybrids. Their remnants are utilized to manufacture the yellow pills, and their blood is utilized to make an anti-transformation vaccine for the colonel. Reese kills the employee in a fit of wrath after realizing he was being manipulated. Brooke controls a group of zombies and unleashes them inside the lab to murder everyone. Maxie enters an enclosed space and is lowered into the bunker. She walks into a vent and searches for her sister, while the others enter through the front entrance in order to divert the colonel's attention. As they move toward the control room, which houses the commander and the spider, they murder everyone in their path. When Brooke finally makes it to the main room, she discovers the spider there. He presents the most deadly cyborg zombie, his most recent invention. The cyborg is too powerful for Brooke's army of zombies to handle. The cyborg is considerably more dangerous because the spider is controlling him with his arms. Only Brooke survives after the cyborg mercilessly murders the other zombies. Ultimately, he assaults her and hurls her against the wall. The strong cyborg is too strong for Brooke to defeat. She can only pray to be saved by a miracle. The aforementioned miracle occurs and his right hand stops operating just seconds before he kills her. This is because the spider's hand is being restrained from moving by Grace, who is bound in a corner, since he is also 50% zombie and has been utilizing the hybrids to postpone metamorphosis. The mind control tactic works on him. Brooke gains an edge and attacks the cyborg. However, he soon resumes battling, this time with greater strength. Brooke finds herself in jeopardy once more, but this time she defeats the cyborg by electrocuting him. Breeze and Barry are battling the colonel outside. He has the advantage over both of them because he is armed. Maxie shows there with her weapon aimed at him just as he is about to execute the two. She saves the others by shooting him dead. But as Brooke begins turning into a zombie, things take a turn for the worst. She needs some blood badly, but nobody has one. She assaults Maxie and forces her to hide in a cage when situations get out of hand. After some time, Brooke is eventually calmed down when Maxie locates a small container of blood and gives it to her. Brooke discovers that she had bitten her brother as she regains consciousness. Meanwhile, after capturing Grace, the spider escapes via the capsule. Additionally, he switches the lab to autoblast mode. 30 seconds remain before the entire lab explodes, killing everyone in the group. Barry and Brooke choose to use their own blood as fuel to send Reese and Maxie outside. The plot succeeds, and just before the location blows up and ends Barry and Brooke, Reese and Maxie take off. The spider outside is using Grace's blood to make his antidote. At that moment, the spider is discovered to be a zombie by the soldiers. They strike the spider since there is no colonel to stop them. The spider murders them both because he is irritated by their involvement. Reese and Maxie finds Grace motionless on a bench. Reese faces the spider, and the hybrid blood of the spider helps him overcome him. Grace awakens just as the man is about to kill Reese, stabbing him. Further, 
She viciously rips open his tum-tum. Maxie gives Reese a yellow pill in the final scene, as he is going to change, and she invites him to join their group. Suddenly, the film takes a surprising turn when Brooke and Barry emerge unscathed from the lab.